Ugh. Okay, maybe I brought too much stuff. We are right. We're headed north to Lake of the Woods. I'm gonna make a few pit stops along the way. We're gonna document this and show you what uh, all the glamour is about. Show you all the nitty gritty stuff along the way and what a trip like this entails. Let's get after it, huh? All right, we just made it into Wisconsin. Uh, we're making good time here, at least. We got the uh, white monster and a Mio ready to go. Keep me alive through this whole trip. Uh, I'm gonna be living off those for a, for a hot minute. So I'll check in with you guys later. Holy cannoli! True unsung hero of the road trip, my friends. Got to take a little stop here, recharge the batteries here a little bit. The mental batteries, the physical batteries, the literal batteries. But we're well on our way, starting to snow. So this is going to turn into an interesting trip. So I guess they decided to plow only one side of the road didn't fully make it through this storm the way I expected to, but it is what it is. A little bit of reduced travel time and all and such. So I'm probably gonna make a stop here uh, relatively soon, because um, I mean, this already sucks to drive in, but I'll suck to drive in it even more at night. Um, so yeah, there's that. All right, we're back on the road again. Time to uh, start it off the right way. As you know, we're headed up to Dale's right now. I'm gonna stop in Badat, if that's how you pronounce it. Is that the correct dialect? Um, I'm gonna stop there to get some groceries, some bait, and we're gonna be at Dale's. We're gonna, on Lake of the Woods, uh, doing some ice camping, as some people call it, the sleeper shacks, what have you. Uh, but yeah, gonna stay out on the ice for a couple of nights. Hopefully get into some walleye, bogger. I'm personally very vested in the idea of catching a bourbon. And if I get really, really lucky, can even catch a white fish. Or a Cisco or Tulabi, I've never caught one of those through the ice, so. Probably see me again when I'm a little bit further north, yeah? Going like the breeze, country road. <laughs> Soon may the weatherman come to horse. <laughs> and red lake definitely want to fish it sometime but not right now i got other fish to fry oh we this is the path to heaven right here boys let me tell you what i'm beyond excited to get settled in get rocking and rolling we're almost there going a little stir crazy in here guys thanks for being my company i really appreciate it All right, we made it. We made it to Lake of the Woods here. I was gonna film the trip out, but, but I was just too excited, got loaded up. Uh, yeah, Lake of the Woods. Let's uh, take a look, see what we got going on here in Dales. So far, very thoroughly impressed with the service. Uh, everything's been awesome, but man, just check this place out. Look at this. Oh, this, you can't beat this. You really, like, you got literally everything you need in here. You got your bunks, of course. You got your holes drilled for you. You got a little table and a coffee maker. Trish! Look at this. You got plenty of windows for plenty of light. You know, we got the heater going. Uh, yeah, I, I just got all my stuff set up here and ready to go. So we, got, we, we even got a TV, we got a fan. Look at all these amenities. But yeah, they literally get you everything here. I, I brought some of my own stuff, but... 
I, I'm very surprised at the quality that such a, you know, a, a, a mom and pop kind of place, you know, a small business can run. I am totally geeking out here, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get finished getting ready. We're going to drop some lines and probably get some food in me. But yeah, let me get the camera set up, uh, get some lines down, get the uh, flasher in and let's, let's get her at her, bud. Yeah. Look at that. We already got fish on the screen here. We'll see what happens with that. Definitely got something down there messing around. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right. Well, we're just going to kind of let them do their thing. I'm going to get this rod set up here real quick. Just got to get a swivel on and a fluorocarbon leader. We're going to watch that bobber right over there. So this is a little overkill. I'm gonna be using this uh, new, new line, I'm trying this out from earlier. You probably saw this. Um, it's 20 pound test, but just in case I come across a pike, I wanna have a little bit something stronger on here to re resist the teeth. And plus it's fluorocarbon, they're not even gonna see it anyways. I could be proven wrong. So let's, I, I'd rather find out that I'm wrong than never know, right? Well, there's plenty of fish down there either way. I'm not too worried about the spot. I was concerned about it originally because I probably wanted to wander around a bit and throw some tip-ups out, but after seeing all the ice heaves that are out there and it's, it's slated to get pretty cold here, I think being in the shack's gonna be just fine. But I mean, look, we, we got, we've had fish underneath us since we got in here. Now, are they the right fish or are they gonna bite? Now that's up to me to find out, right? So we're gonna start off with something a little bit smaller profile here uh this is the hyperglide by acne um having a lot of success with this bait lately so we're gonna throw this one on first and see what we can make happen here probably gonna readjust the bobber to get a little closer to bottom there so we'll, we'll get down there a little bit lower maybe entice these more finicky fish real quick i do want to shout out though uh two brothers elliot rods this is the nomad I wanted to give this one a shot. It might go with the, the regular medium, but um, shout out to them for being able to get this rod to me in time for this trip. Um, you guys are really awesome, but I highly suggest these, these rods. Give them a shot if you need a new rod. Yeah, the cool part about this bait is it gives it a little bit slower fall. A little bit slower fall than typical presentation that you'll see in baits like this, which might be just a, a key to throw something a little bit different in front of these fish. They, that they maybe haven't seen uh, get more finicky fish to, to go. Just because I, I, I heard, you know, a couple of reports that things are a bit slow out here. Oh no, am I in the deucer? First one of the trip, baby. You know, from what it looks like here, we're in about 26 foot. And just with the, kind of the color and darkness of the water and an overcast sky, clear water, yeah, you're gonna wanna be fishing, you know, like, four or five feet above them in this kind of water. But you know, you wanna, you wanna keep, play a little game with them to get them to go, keep away from them. Yeah, and just mess around with the column here. And once, around, once in a while, pound around in the mud. Also a huge pro tip for you, in general, if you're gonna do any kind of camping, grab these uh, moist wipes. If you, you ain't got a chance to shower for whatever reason, um, these help in a pinch. At least, uh, you know, be mindful of your, your friends that may be fishing with you. <laughs> oh, there we go. I like what I see there. That's a school of something up a little high. Yeah, that minnow's getting moved around. Well, that might actually be a fish. First fish, Lake of the Woods. Here we go. There we go. Yeah! It's not gigantic, but it's a fish. <laughs> and here we go. That's what you come up here for. You're going to catch a lot of these. Um, they're saying there's some, some big 10, 11, 12 pound fish being caught. Uh, some over or over 30s are being caught now. So um, we gotta sort through them. 
and away you go. <sighs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is, knowing that, while I'm coming back on it, I'm gonna put a slightly bigger sucker on here just to entice maybe a little bit bigger fish. This may not be the rod for it, unfortunately. It's an old Abu Garcia combo I've had for forever. Let's see if we can't get him on the jigging rod. I do like these up higher up fish though. I wanna see what that's about. Can't get one to go. All right, as you can see here, we're all lit up like a Christmas tree, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that's definitely a fish. Maybe worth something checking out. Big fish, little fish. Red fish, blue fish. There we go. A little bit of interaction coming. Come on now. You can take it. Come on. It's a much bigger mark. Come on. We're going to start off with uh, something a little smaller here, I think. Um, yeah, just something, you know, it's, we're going to keep going down until we, we figure it out. But it's one of these glow style um, rattle masters with a, a minnow head tipped on it. So we'll get down there and see if maybe the, the lower profile is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, these could just be... Uh, I heard it's it's been a sorting game, you know. It's been a lot of sorting through smaller stuff. That's okay. We're we're just out here to have fun, you know. There we go. Already right, got an interested customer. There we go. Something a little bit more aggressive. Still small though. I'll slow down when I bring them up here. Hey, exactly what I thought it was. Another one, just a, just a little guy. Get him back in here. Here he comes. Ooh. Oh, 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 there he was again. Just a little tap -a -rooney. Just a little tap -a -rooney. All right, well, we know what they want now. Definitely a matter of downsizing for now. I'm gonna say closer to sunset, um, we'll probably upsize a little bit. I got I got a specific bait that I'm thinking about using here. Oh, there we go. All right, yeah, we got something suspended coming in now. We'll see if it wants to interact or not. Oh, I see what's going on here. That's why those marks don't wanna interact with me because they're too focused on the bait. It's up here in about 20 feet, between 20 and 16. I may not have a minnow head anymore. That might be what's doing it. And I'm a little bit more hesitant to bite. So that is the secret right now. So it's gonna be meat on, on, on top of it, so. Yeah, this is very much a matter of making them bite. Okay, so we know that works. We're gonna put on a little bit beefier spoon, a little buckshot spoon, get some meat on it, get her down there. See if we can't entice a little bit bigger guy to show up. Oh, there he was. Let's see if we can get him to go again. Oh yeah, he's right under us now. They're liking the slow rise, it looks like. There we go, that one's a little bit girthier. Still not huge, but... Yeah, there you go. Hey. <laughs> hey. 
All right. I like them to be just a touch bigger if I'm going to keep them. Ooh, there we go. Another one. Got a couple of them down there. Make them work for it. Alright. I'm not doing that. Drop below them and kind of reset them. See what they want to do. Decent on now. And I have a feeling the fur bag. Ooh, there you go, buddy. Ah, yeah, let's get this out of here. No, I thought I just caught my personal best walleye. Holy crap, there it is, folks. We just made it happen. Look at that monstrosity. Holy crap, look at it. Ah, I look bigger in the water there, so. Um, not quite my personal best, but get a measure on her, get it back down. Yep, it's a 23 incher, solid fish. Can't be too mad about it. Um, really happy to see it. Let's, let's let her go. Perfect. With all the dinkers we were catching, I honestly didn't think that was gonna happen. So, whew, super excited. Gotta calm down a little bit there. Um, yeah, no, that was an awesome fish. Um, yeah, just sticking to the program. I upsized a bit here. Yeah, so that's what did it. Upsized a little bit to a buckshot spoon with a tip with a minnow head. Decent fish, can't complain. Um, we're just getting started, boyos. So yeah, let's let's get the lines back down there and do it again. And we're already hooked up again. And it's that time, I think. There we go, that's an eater. That's what we want right there. All right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I need to say after that, the mon that Mondo came through, uh, this one bit on the fall. And he's gonna be dinner. Oh yeah, especially since I got him in the gill. Yeah, you wanna be a little bit smart, at least about what you're gonna harvest and what you're not so this guy would be yeah this would this is the one to harvest Oh, all right. Come on now. Oh, that's a good mark right there. There we go. We got another one down there too. Yep, that loses some decent head shakes. Not bad. Get away from the deucer, please. Another white fish? What the heck? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you even doing? Yeah, that's it. Another one. I didn't measure the other one. That's what they do. That one's definitely bigger than this one. Twelve and a half. So that one was probably like seventeen, something like that. Word. Well, there's another. Mark down there, it's probably another one. 
There we go. Send her back down. Well, bang. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, that makes sense. Um, why that sucker hasn't gotten uh, demolished yet. Because those are the whites down there. All right. Well, that's another good mark coming in. Let me just clean up my hands here real quick. Again, I'm telling you, wet wipes make you feel human. Yeah, that's probably all those those emerald shiners that are really hardcore in here. Hmm. Still gonna go after them when I see them. You never know if there's a pike chasing it or something, you know? Oh, looks like we got a taker down there. Now you folks might be wondering. Like, what the heck is going on with your flash? Why is it? Why is the gain so high? Why is it? Why is it so high? Well, the answer to that is um, the very simple one. Uh, this flash is old and it sucks. <laughs> I, I know it's not a very exciting answer, but no, no, this this flasher has been beat to hell and. And it's been a while. It's you know, it's when I first switched over to Markham's, um, just to give them a try. Uh, now, you know, I'm I'm willing to see what else is out there. You know, it's uh, you know, I'd always been a Vexilar guy, and I I wanted to see what Markham had to offer and how much of a difference they were. And I, I'll, I'll be pretty upfront with it. You know, they're very in terms of quality and usability they're 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 pretty equal in my opinion uh it's it, but when you get into those higher higher level flashers that have a lot more features that's that's when things change um that's that's really the big difference all right well that being said i mean it's been a heck of a day and hold on What's this? What's going on? Well, it's certainly been a day. Uh, we're we're, we're going to be fishing well into the night. Uh, we, from two fairly reliable sources, I've heard that our bigger fish are being caught after like eight, between eight and nine. Uh, typically, is what we're seeing here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of. Uh, do some some choring uh, in here just making sure everything's good to go um, and save some batteries and uh, some card space because uh, realistically uh, if depending on how crazy things get uh, I, I may fill up the both of these cards so we, we are, we're gonna take it easy I just want to make sure we were uh, at least capture the, the magical start so uh, yeah, next time you see me, we're gonna we're gonna be doing magical things. Probably dinner time. Oh, let's be real here. And I want I want to show off a steak and some fried walleye. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of chill out for a minute. And we'll see you when we uh, get exciting again. Okay. All right. So we got ourselves a nice steak warming up right now. Uh, you want to get it to room temperature before you throw it on, you know? That's what they say, right? I got the pan getting warmed up. I like to throw a little water on it just to make sure I get any extra residue off. And then I got some potatoes going, so we're going to make some fries out of them and we're going to cut up that walleye, get her on the cook. All right, I'm just going to give this a quick little sharpen here. That should be all we need. We're just gonna cut this uh, long ways and make some fries out of them. Actually, let me let me wash it off real quick. There we go. Give it a wash. I like a little variety in life. 
So I like to take these ones and just make little tiny strips out of them because these will be my snacks. There we go. These will be the snacks while I wait for the oil to get properly heated. Okay. Two. Yeah, we can. There we go. And there you go. So, what I like to do is, oddly enough, actually wash them off. They do need to be particularly dry. Once you're done washing them off, make sure you dry them off. Yeah, you want to get all the starch and stuff off of them. That's how you get really crispy fries. All right, cool. Now they're washed off, get them dried off. So there you go. Let those soak up a bit and we'll be ready to rock. Awesome part is I get to have my food. I got some steak and walleye. Sheesh! Uh, looks like I got a crap ton of bait underneath me, so that's a, a good sign. They're they're uh, down about eight to uh, fourteen feet, so way above what I got my bait set at. But that's okay. Walleye. Ten out of ten. Mm. The only way it gets fresher if you take a bite out of it before you release it. Um, you may have noticed that when I was cooking the fries, I took them off and put them back on again. That's how you get extra crispy fries. Hmm. You hear that? Yeah. That's what you want. So far, Dale's has been everything. Everything and more. Like, this is... Uh, you know, I was kind of thinking about what the experience would be like, and I didn't even come close to, to what I'm actually experiencing. So this is uh, pretty awesome. Um, I get another full day and a half of this, so um, yeah, we're, we're going to crush it, I think. Um, I'm already happy with what I've seen so far. That, that, that walleye was freaking huge. Um, the whitefish were a huge bonus um, and, uh, and uh, you know it's a fish I've been wanting to catch for a while now so I'm glad I got that out of the way and let's try the steak out that's all right number one it's a ribeye so it's hard to be wrong but I forgot to grab charcoal 
Otherwise, I would have had a little, little grill with. I would have made this on. It truly is a superior way to do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to crush this food. I think it's liney time as well. And uh, start winding down for the rest of the night. Hopefully uh, the burbs will come out and some of the big walleyes will come out to play. That's what I'm hoping for at least. Yeah. See you when something cool happens. All right. So as you can hear, I got the TV going in the background. Pretty legit. Um, but what we got going here. Yep. We're just going to lay down now, I think, and finish this off and see if I can't get one more to go. They say the big ones are getting caught at night on emerald shiners. So I got a sucker in the corner. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and get a burb. I've seen a few, few marks kind of come in real slow. Not really do anything. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm going to give this a little bit more time and then set up some nighttime rides and we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And, um, you know, it's been a pretty awesome day. I'm already into my bed in my little cot here. You can see ready to rock. I'm going to probably just lay down for a minute and just rest. It's been, it's, it's, it's been a trip needless to say. So, but yeah, well, uh, I'll hit you up. Uh, we'll see if uh, we can't get a fish. Yeah. All right. Good morning guys. We are getting up. At first light. As you can see here, we got the city across the ice. Everyone's getting rocking and rolling here. Yeah, all those little dots out there. And yeah, those are more shacks. Yeah, we're just getting set up right now. But we are gonna go ahead and get set up for the morning bite here. I'm gonna brush my teeth, get some coffee going. And, uh, yeah, we're going to rock this out. We'll have a killer start to our day. So we're going to start the day off with a little cup of joe here and see if we can't get some fish to go. Now that I've gotten my morning sorted, everything's where it should be. Coffee is made, bait is down, we're dialed, we know what's working. <clears throat> Although that could completely change today, I could have used up all of my luck yesterday. Either way, we shall. See. All right, so far it's been a little slower morning compared to last evening. I haven't been seeing the same amount of bait though. Might have something to do with it. I had one come up and <clears throat> smack it real hard. No one wants to commit to the sucker either, so I might uh, change that up here. But we'll see. Very hopeful. Still, still very early in the morning. It's just barely past sunrise, so. 
we got some time here. Damn. Popped out hard, huh? I'm gonna have to check the bait now. <laughs> Whatever that was came up and just smacked the crap out of it. Wow, that's impressive. Whatever got it just came up and decimated it and snapped it right off my hook. That's impressive. All right, maybe tail hooking is not the answer here. All right, it's down. She's taking it. Chewing on it a bit. I think it's time to hit it. Oh, come on, dude. What is going on? All right, we're going to just try it. one of these dead emerald shiners. <clears throat> See if um, I get them to actually ingest the thing. I mean, at the end of the day, <clears throat> I may just not be giving them enough time, period, with those bigger suckers, so. Because normally I would be putting those on a tip-up. So maybe that's the key ingredient. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with this one. Well, here we go. I think that'll be our first keeper of the day. Starting it off all right. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's actually a little on the small side for me. <clears throat> Where we're in all right enough of an area in terms of depth that um, these guys will release fairly well. Yeah. Another, another nice little eye. Send him on his way, huh? Get back to ripping this bad boy and see if we can't get a, another good fish to go. I'm just kind of working the column too while I'm at it, trying to stay away from being stagnant and sitting in one spot only. Uh, and as soon as I see some some markings somewhere else, like right now, I got something coming in underneath us, so I'll drop down to it and I'll start working it a bit just to see if it responds or not. There we go. It's coming in maybe. There we go. Getting them to come off bottom now. It's coming in. Checking it out. It's looking like a smaller mark though. Yeah, it doesn't want to chase like before. That Cisco, no oh well, just another one of those 12 inch walleye. Let's be real, five. Let's be real here. Probably more like the five inch walleye. Uh, what I may end up doing though is um, just because my the profile of the bait I got on now at least is a little large, I might swap out the sucker that's on that rod uh, for a fat head. Hmm. Yeah, whatever it is that's down there just wants to be stuck on bottom. Thank you. 
All right. Well, we got breakfast ready. I'm not going to be able to eat all that, but uh, it'll make for a good lunch. Maybe a little snacky poo. Just some eggs, sausage, and potatoes, and a last cup of coffee of the day. Uh, it's been pretty quiet. I just got my two dead sticks sitting here. I got one with a sucker, one with a smelt. Uh, pretty suspended just in case there's a pike roaming through. Would like to have a chance at a big one. Um, but for now, I'm just going to eat my breakfast and um, recalibrate here and get back to jigging. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, back to jigging here. All right, so we finally got into another one. Again, it's just a, another one of these. This guy got a little jacked up though, as you can see, there's uh, probably a decent sized pike hanging around out here. Um, but yeah, this little guy, they're being super finicky in this daytime bite. And so I had to switch over to this right here. Uh, super hard to find these gulp baits nowadays, but I found some in a gold tungsten uh, and dead sticking it is what did this. So uh, we're gonna let him go and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the next one on camera. No, nope. not that either. He's sticking around though. Means he likes something. Come on, come on, do that Laffy Taffy. Come on, nada, huh? All right, let's just bop it on the bottom. Bop it on the bottom. Feel a little extra weight on one of these wiggles. I'll make sure to give her. There we go. Oh, come on. All right, that means there's, there's more than one down there. That's a good sign, though. Come on, give him, give him the fight for it. No, you're done? Okay. Probably got my bait, that's why. Yeah, yeah, I got robbed. So he was on there. And there wasn't much weight to it, so that was probably like a perch or like a like a five incher. <laughs> so I can't be too mad that I missed it earlier and it wasn't chasing <sighs> the old rattling spoon. So I guess we're just having fun for now until the big ones show up to play. But this is a good sign. It means that they're turning on. We're seeing life again. Basically a repeat of yesterday. Huh, that's interesting. Like, I can't really set the hook on these guys. Like, they're just gumming it. I was pulling the old, the old Squidward. That was him. Yeah, they are barely touching this, if at all. There we go, finally. Finally, let's see what you are. It's probably a perch. But it's good just to, to not, oh no, uh oh, uh oh, the size uh, quality is getting a little, a little lower here, I think. <laughs> That's okay. Now we know. All right. Well, I mean. You know, it is what it is. We're, we're still having fun catching fish, and that's what it's all about. I'm going to go back to screwing with these little guys and while I watch uh, Fishing More 
do the exact same thing. Um, if you don't know that channel, you should go check it out. Uh, uh, Murda, he does a lot of does a lot of this, and part it's actually part of what one of the things that inspired me to do it. Um, albeit was last minute, and Dale's really really took care of me and and found a spot for me. So um, definitely check out that channel and check out Dale's on Lake of the Woods. And we're hooked up again. Another little squeaker from off the bottom here. Although I'm hoping for a, a jumbo perch, that would be cool to get into one. No, no, we, we knew what it was going to be. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, getting her done at least. Having some fun, catching some fish. Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, this combo right here. Little gold tungsten and some of that gulp alive has been doing the magic. So uh, when you really need to just have some fun, hey, does the job. Here we go, here we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Step right up, step right up. No, he doesn't want to chase it. Let's put it below him then. Just gonna pound it on the spot. Yeah, no, these ones aren't responding to the chase. There we go. Got him. All right, just a touch better than the other ones. This may be... No, 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 not a keeper, though. Okay, so this is going to tell you something right here. See how he's hooked on the underside of his mouth? That tells you everything you need to know about how they're biting and what they want to bite. So because I was keeping this guy stationary down there at the bottom, and I was dropping it beneath him, they were trying to pin it to the to the floor, or almost a, like a down strike. Uh, so that being said, um, it's just a you know poor attitude. We need to adjust from the count for that. We may have to downsize. Um, we'll see as we get further into prime time. All right, we got some more down there, which is a good sign. It means that things are getting a little livelier. Things are about to pick up here. We're about to get into that hectic window in the evening. There we go. Rattle bait got it done, huh? Yeah, this one's got some size to it. I like this a lot more. Yep, I knew ordering these last minute. Oh, it's one of you, McNasties. This one's a little bigger than the other one. So I'm excited to see how big it actually is. Assuming it doesn't hook me. <laughs> okay. So, from what I know at least, this is a Cisco or Tulabi. Yeah, they got that smell. Um, you can tell if the snout is longer than the bottom jaw. If it was a whitefish, that bottom jaw would be a little further back. But uh, just for kicks, let's give it a quick measure. All right, we're at 16 for this guy and he's ready to go. I don't wash my hands. Well, that was exciting. Um, yeah. These baits right here work amazingly on the chain, box lake chain, back where I fish mostly. But yeah, I made sure I had a couple of these slightly larger ones uh, to bring with me on this trip. And uh, definitely paid out. 
yeah, as you can see, I was going to town on it. But once that fish showed up again, you know, I kind of changed the pattern, read what the fish wanted, got it to chase, and uh, well, bam, we got it done. See if we can do that with a, oh, I don't know, a 30 inch walleye maybe? How about that? Yeah, I just wanted to kind of come outside and stretch the legs a bit. Just kind of check out what we got going on here. Just how massive Lake of the Woods is on, on this side is, is freaking amazing. And now we got tons of all this right over here is all nasty heaves and they're trying to clear roads and stuff. But uh, yeah, over there. Hi Aaron Weeb. Hi Jay Siemens. Yeah. This is a you know a really unique opportunity for me and I wanted to take it. It's freaking amazing. Uh, and these houses in particular are, are really nice. Uh, so I just want to again give a massive shout out to for Dales. because uh, that everything about it's uh, amazing. I mean yeah, all in all, I'm gonna probably just go walk around a bit outside for a little while, wait for the sun to set, uh, cause prime time's just about here and I, I don't wanna be fidgeting, so let's go. All right, I think it's pizza time. Right, let's get in here real quick. I'm gonna put these eggs back in, it should be cooled down enough. Yeah, just the essentials, right? <laughs> Smelt. By the way, a big shout out to uh, Outdoors again. For having frozen shiners and frozen smell. I can't even get a hold of those down by me normally. And since they know what's good, I already got a, a pizza pan for you. Well, bam. And here we go into the oven. And while that goes, we're gonna see if we can some jig some more fish up here real quick. There we go. That's it, that's the magic. This is a smaller one though, probably an eye. There we go. And that one. Yeah, so one of the biggest things that I can tell you here is um, I'm just working it up a, a lot higher uh, than maybe most people would feel comfortable. Um, probably, say five to six feet off bottom right now, uh, and that's just for the for calling them in. Um, just because, of, you know, I'll throw a picture of the <clears throat> the flasher up here, but um, the bait's in like we're 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 in twenty six twenty seven. But the bait at its lowest is at 20 foot. Um, and at its highest, it's it's all the way up to like 12 feet. So make of that what you will. And um, yeah, it's uh, just being real aggressive with it to call them in at first and sealing the deal, making it reactive to the fish that's coming in at it. All right. It's power hour, baby. It's happening again. Let's see what we can make happen here. The question is, do I stick with this bait? That seems to be working better today. Or do I switch out to that buckshot spoon that was working better yesterday and caught me the biggest fish of the trip? What's the right answer? Yeah, just in case you're wondering how pizza time's going. Uh, pizza time's going pretty good. 
Just wait for it to cool down here. We're gonna smash some pizza while we shatter some uh, walleye personal bests, I think, yeah? Crushing eyes and pizza pies. Mm. Came up to investigate it and went down real fast. Yeah, that, that screams small walleye. All right, well, I'm gonna let that sit for now. I'm gonna freshen up the bait bucket and get some pizza. Well, that was pretty much all I'm gonna be doing the rest of the evening. I'm just gonna be laying here doing a little bit of night jigging probably shut off the lights just in case that's to distracting them but that's pretty much it for now unless anything else comes up but uh yeah as of tonight um i do get to fish the morning bite one more time tomorrow i definitely got up like way too early for it i think because <laughs> it really didn't turn on until like nine uh it seemed yeah given that sunrise is like clock <sighs> but yeah, we'll, we'll give it another shot tomorrow, and then uh, my checkout's a little early, so right after that morning bite, I'll be out of here. And then I'm actually going to be headed out to Hayward and see if I can't uh, make heads or tails of uh, what's going on over there with all the the slush and garbage going on that they got and they're dealing with. Um, Hopefully it's gotten a little better since the last report I heard. But, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. You see all those lights over there? Yeah, those are all shacks. Sleeper shacks just like mine. It is dark out here. Yeah, just waiting for that uh, second phase of the night bite to happen here. No real action yet, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know what happens. Well, guys, I think that's about it. Fished well into the night. I'm getting sleepy here. Got Bob Ross playing in the background, so it's knocking me out. That's that's I, I used to go to sleep with that on every single night. But uh. Yeah, I'm going to set the rods up, and if anything goes off throughout the night, I'll make sure to press the button here and get you guys in on the action. But if uh, nothing bites, uh, we'll see you in the morning. We'll get some, some breakfast eyes, maybe. We'll see. Look at that. Uh -huh. Well, it's morning again. Just getting packed up here and um, getting some coffee. Got some lines down already and uh, gonna make some breakfast here in a minute. And uh, hopefully catch a couple of walleye. We'll see what happens. Watching fishing while I'm fishing. We got breakfast. Just uh, kind of sitting there, staying warm. Seeing the graph come alive again, which is a good sign. Might be able to put a couple more fish topside before we get the move on and go to our next destination here. So. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I like the bite from the rip and wrap a little bit more, uh, even though the buckshot spoon was working. You know, it's it, it's just kind of a dull bite, and yeah, you know, I got enough fish already to call it a success. Um, but we do got the we got a sucker sitting on that line over there. 
So if anything takes it, we'll be ready to pounce. But yeah, let's uh, let's get some more fish here and eat some breakfast, have that coffee, and uh, have a good morning. Well, we got our brekkie. We got some Joe. We got the flasher going. We got our bobber. We got the uh, rip and wrap ready to go in case I see a mark come across the screen. Um, sun's coming out. It's perfect. Ready to rock. Well, this guy right here decided to catch me sleeping. Uh, came up and smacked me while I just had the rod down. I wasn't even looking, so um, they even decided to turn the camera on. So. It looks like uh, we're starting to get warmed up here and fish are ready to go. Uh, so we're gonna set them back down and hopefully get another one. There we go. All right, let's get them up. Up, 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 up. And we're in the deucer. And he's gone. Fantastic. It's okay. That was planned the entire time. More hops. Do you want small hops? Do you want to chase it? No, it doesn't want to chase it. Rips? You want rips? Does not want rips. Does he want it on the fall then? He does not want it at all. All right, guys, I was literally just packing her up and uh, this guy decided he wanted to play ball right as I went to go check the line and uh, he feels decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he's in my other line. Oh, there it is, folks. Another beauty Lake of the Woods walleye. This time, downsizing did it once again. The little gold tungsten tipped with a minnow. Uh, I got a fiasco here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back down, get packed up, and uh, I think that's it for the day. We'll see you at the next destination. And as always, fish more, get on the water. We have arrived. All right, so we've uh, officially made it to the last stop. Got a few things to carry, but overall, it's not too shabby. Uh, this place is definitely a cool little spot. In case you haven't heard of it, it's called Lakewoods. That's a resort. It's a cool little spot, I gotta say. I, I like it so far uh, from what I've seen. The rooms are like off of a a swimming pool <laughs> with a hot tub so and they, they got a, a dining room and everything built in so probably gonna take a bath and get recharged here since I was out on the water all that time yeah this is a uh, quite the swanky place here man yeah, I'm gonna go get recharged here get some dinner I think yeah I'll show you the digs so you can see I already made myself well at home get all the basics here huh. got yourself a nice bathroom and of course the bed with an amazing view like Nemecagan Absolutely gorgeous. But, uh, yeah, we'll see 
I, I probably, I may or may not fish Noakagan. I got a couple of other places in mind, but it's a good starting point. I'll check back in with you uh, when more fishing happens, I guess, or get a few old fashions in me and start doing karaoke. We all know how that ends.